everyone on Point Aesthetics is here. Today I'm going to talk about refeed day. Now what is a refeed day and how can you define a refeed day? A refeed day is simply a day which you introduce a lot of carbohydrates in the system. Now how does it differ from a cheat day? A cheat day you simply neglect all the macros you're moving on or you're going through and start eating whatever you want, so eat pizza, ice cream, simply giving yourself a day off. Now, what is the benefit of a refeed day? As you have seen from the title, a refeed day helps you to burn fat. Now, how is this possible? I'm gonna talk some biological factors right now, so bear with me if, uh, if, if I know these biological factors of not for great important, but in order to understand the fact or the idea behind it, you have to know these biological factors. Now, let's start and say you started dieting. There is a hormone in your body known as the leptin hormone, which is responsible for your cravings. When you wake up in the middle of the night and you're craving some ice creams, that is because of the leptin hormone. When you start going through the days of dieting a week, two and three and four weeks, you start cravings and your cravings get more and more and more and more and more and more. You start craving some simple things that you will never crave in your normal day like uh, bread and um, uh, let's say rice and pasta and this and that and these are simply carbohydrates now when you do a diet you have to be in a calorie deficit mode and the best way in being in a calorie deficit mode is removing carbohydrates from your system or decreasing it to a minimum or or depending on your macros it, this have to be you know in, including your body composition and your weight and your height and your physique uh, how many body per body fat percentage and this and that so you remove the carbohydrates from your system and the leptin hormone increases when your leptin hormone increases 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 your metabolism rate decreases and this is one of the main reasons why people start taking these fat pills loss uh, the pills responsible for you know fat loss and all these type of things it has some ingredients that help you increase your metabolism it doesn't have this magical pill or something that will make you lose all the fat no it helps you increase their metabolism but it is is this right no it's not right the best way is to introduce some carbs in your system now the refeed day you shoot up the carbs very very high for about 800 between 500 or 800 grams of carbs and your body start getting some glycogen in the system your body start you know uh, feeling good you're feeling happy you start smiling back again and uh, you're uh, in the gym you will be you know lifting very heavy and you will be feeling more active now what happens the next day when you wake up in the morning and you stand over the weight balance or whatever you call it and you see some three to four pounds increase people think actually that oh shit I i've gained all the weight back no it never happens like this if you're dieting for a month or two to three weeks and then you introduce your body to a refeed day and then the next morning you wake up and you measure yourself on the balance shit I increase three pounds no your body gain some water your body because of the fat because of the salt you have eaten in the refeed day stores the water the glycogen in the muscles where your muscles get filled these all these factors help you to increase the weight that helps your body to increase the weight and it's very very okay it is simply regenerating your body you know when you when, when you work for like three to six hours and then you have a small cup of tea you know by the beach and next day you feel happy again you start working and you start investing in your time and this and that this is the refeed day which helps you back generates the, 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 the mechanical energy in your body so yeah uh, a refeed day when should you introduce your body to a refeed day okay it depends on the leptin level how you would know a leptin level I, I'm not telling you hey go to the doctor and check your leptin levels no it's a story that will never end each and everyone who wants to die it will go to the doctor and check the leptin level no you have to know it by yourself how can you know it by yourself now I'm gonna give you a short example of scenario you wake up in the morning you start okay I'm started I'm starting a diet right now two three four days a week everything is good no cravings at all two weeks uh, your cravings start increase a little bit three weeks oh cravings are getting higher and higher four weeks your cravings are way high you start thinking about bread you start thinking about pasta rice each and every time it's, it's, it's like instantly you better just sit on oh, pasta oh bread oh at this time your leptin level is way up high and it is the right time to introduce carbohydrates in your system 
Now, this depends from a different person. Now, for example, me, I'm a tall guy, 189 centimeters, and I'm a heavy guy, about 105 kgs. So, for me, in order to, you know, get these cravings, it will be a month, a two month, uh, no, not two months, I would say a month and a half, about five to six weeks. But, for example, my brother, um, he's a little bit shorter, he will need, like, it depends on your body composition, that's what I'm saying. And your cravings and the, your sense, your sense, when you need sense it, and you will feel, oh, I need some carbohydrates in my system, you will feel about the leptin level. So yeah, these, these are mostly the information about uh, the, the uh, refeed days and how it is more and more beneficial than a cheat day. So yeah, as I told you before, try and try as much as possible to introduce refeeds. They are good to your system, they are good to your body, they help you to burn more fat so thank you for making it this far to the video if you like the video please like it down and comment and share it and please subscribe and uh, if you want to know more and more information about the ketogenic diet plus the link here i think it will be here yeah beside my face this way mm. yeah so yeah and don't forget to remain on point